Hello, welcome to lesson eight, exercise one, mastering Java. What we want to do here is create four strings. The first one's going to say the itsy bitsy spider. The second one will say climbed up the water spout. Third one will say down came the rain. And the fourth one will say and wash the spider out. Now these are four separate strings. What we want to do is concatenate, which means combine the first and second strings and store into another string. So we want to combine them together because they're one line. Then we want to concatenate the third and fourth strings and store them in another string. And then we want to print out strings five and six, which means the two new strings that we've created um, using two print line statements. So the final output should look like you expect it to be printed. It's a bitsy spider climbed up the water spout, down came the rain, washed the spider out. So we're really taking two string fragments, combining them to create this first line, and we're doing the same thing for the second line. So we have our uh, main method here creating the four initial strings. Notice there's two ways to create a string. One of them looks more like an object declaration. Uh, the second way is, is more of an, uh, looks more like an assignment. In any case, each of these four guys are really still objects in terms of Java. But anyway, string one, we have created exactly as we have said here. String two, we've created the second one. String three, we've created the third one. And string four, we've created the fourth one. Notice that we have some spaces in here. For instance, one after the comma, one before that C. That's to keep things spaced out when we print them all together. Now, in order to combine or concatenate strings in Java, it's very simple. What we do, uh, well, the actual combining is happening by taking string one and putting the plus sign with string two. The plus is linking these two together, and it's literally taking the characters in string one, the characters in string two, and it's sandwiching them together and putting them uh, there. Now, this combined string is set equal to another string. Notice we have the string keyword. We're calling it line one. So what's happening here is we're creating another string called line one. And instead of just putting text inside of quotations, we're setting that new string equal to the concatenation of the first two strings. So there's lots of things here. I'm showing you how to concatenate the strings. I'm also showing you that when you declare a string, the right hand side does not have to be quotation marks. The right hand side can be a combination of any strings you want. I'm doing exactly the same thing for line two. I'm concatenating strings three and four together. Now we just have to print them out. We're going to print out uh, line one, which is a string, so I can stick it right in the print line statement. I've got line two, which is another string. I can stick that in another print line statement. That's the entire thing. So let me go ahead and hit run here. And we can see the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout, down came the rain, and washed the spider out. Notice the spacing is right. For instance, down came the rain, comma, space. And that comes because down came the rain, comma, space. I had to put the space in my string. So you'll see as you do these sorts of exercises that you do need to put a space in. For instance, if I take this space out of this string declaration up there and I save it and I run it again, the spider climbed gets you know, together because when you concatenate two strings together, it doesn't put spaces in for you. It just sticks them together. So it puts the R and the C right next to one another. So let me insert that guy back in. And then we have the output here. So make sure you understand this and play around with it a little bit. Um, combining two strings in Java is very simple. You just use the plus operator to link it together and you can make that assignment to any new string that you like and of course print it out accordingly. 